rough up there. Oh, this is nothing compared to yesterday. Well, we're still real low. Yeah, I'll bet you when we get closer to the top, it's going to be gnarly. I mean, even the other side looks like they're going to be some slippery roads. right underneath the snow here as you can see do not try this at home this is for professionals only in a blizzard. I was doing that yesterday, man. I kept getting the words wrong. I'm like, blurp, blurp, please pass. <laughs> Wolf we're Creek getting close. Pass, we're on to the great divide. We're going on down the other side. Well, actually, we're going to come down the same side. Well, we can, we can take the whole pass. Slow it down. Slow it. Yeah. Now the snow to the right is just at about five, six feet in height. 14 degrees. It's dropped down to 14 degrees right now. Yeah, so you get stuck here, you're dead. We were in the 30s down at the you know, Springs area. Right? Yeah. Yep. We're about freezing. And look at this guy. Yeah, in a fake hummer. You go, dude. And then if there's a catastrophic accident on the, behind us on the way down, we might get stuck up there. We'll just, we can drive out an avalanche and we can shut it down. You know, if we get the avalanche on film, wow. and survive, yes, that's cool. We could live stream it if we have the right cell. So I, I think that we need while we're buried, buried alive. All right. While you make it out alive, we're almost there. Here we are. Where is here? Wolf Creek Pass. You have arrived. This is the top of the Great Continental Divide. Ten thousand eight hundred forty-six feet elevation. Hello. Winds gusting to 47, 13 out. No overnight parking. And look, here's the Continental Divide. You can see the sign behind the snowbank right there. If you're gonna get a Torag, get an old one with the V10 and the uh, air suspension. Those things can do some serious pulling. They have a lot of problems. It's getting fixed. Yeah, 10 856. You used to be a used car salesman? No, but I love cars, dude. Actually, yes, I was a used car salesman for a while, but 
I was too excited about the cars to sell that many of them. All righty. You're like, shut up, just sell me the car. I don't care how many horsepower and torque per square foot. Okay. We are at Wolf Creek Ski Area and it's packed. There are cars as far as the eye can see. Take a look at that. Crazy. It's cold. Whew. But it's clearing up. Coming back up from the ski area. Nothing like a quick ride up the mountain. We're coming up on some big equipment. That's what she said. Did you see the size of that tractor? I'll take it slow around, but blow her. Just the round peg we go around so we can get sure. some blow yeah. Said so. Camera panning too fast. Sorry. This guy's driving too slow. No, we don't need four wheel drive on this. Honda Civic and crush it. Imagine we see an avalanche coming down right there onto the road. That'd be awesome. Let's make that happen. I can forgot you, my 50 cal. Can you uh, Boom. sing? Hum and certain resonance. Yeah. Look at the cornicing of the snow up there. That's awesome. Reminds me of a sand dune. Speaking of sand dunes, we need to go out to the sand dunes again. 7% grade. Fascinating how there's a forest that's 11,000 years old underneath the sand dunes. That's remarkable. That's pretty freaking cool. Imagine watching that happen. All of the whatever, you know, the flood or whatever that caused all the sand to go right there. It's pretty remarkable. Imagine watching that. Wow, it dates back to the Atlanta time of Atlantis again. Yeah, they verified it because they, they found, they took a sample of it and they carbon dated it and they said it was about 11,000 years old. Interesting. Don't need to be right on my ass. It's for 
Beach Town. Hairpin curve, three miles ahead. Will we make it out alive? Can't even see the signs anymore. Been iced over. The next ice age has begun. On Wolf Creek Pass. I saw Al um, actually waving at people. Yeah, I he a, he's in his hole. Actually. He had a political sign. Look at that wheel. That's the first of many runaways. In case we need it. You want to try it? Just say we did it. For science. We could measure the distance that it would take to stop in these conditions. You can test it. Warmed up to 17. Nice. What do you bet? 30 degrees, 32 degrees when we get in town, maybe even 35? Yeah, yeah. We'll verify. It's almost a whiteout up there. The worst whiteout I ever drove through was in the Cascades in Oregon. Yeah. This look like a picnic. Oh no, this is not full visibility. I, I've been on uh, our road 84 going yeah. home. Can't can't see anywhere near like the car in front of us. Going 20. You're just laughing because you're like, I guess I'm on the road. Sure. <laughs> it appears so. highway do you know well they were uh, what's the name of the pass we were just talking about Elwood Pass yeah Elwood was around in the 1800s this is like early 1900s okay Elwood. someone can google that if you're watching now the Wolf Creek Pass experience that's the name of the podcast right there yeah. wow that guy's that's got to be fun. I'll bet you that talk about some freaking white knuckle driving right there in a rented U-Haul with all your stuff and your car behind you. Yeah, coming to the hairpin. <laughs> now it's raining up here. That's really adding to the... That's beautiful. Oh, it's like sleet. A nice light sleet. That's... Yeah. When I was walking, rain. walking today to the garage, I noticed that you had a little bit of powder that was kind of turned into... Uh, tiny little bit of powder, but then underneath it you had your ice that was uh, between ice and slush. Not full ice, but because of the temperature down there, but it's to get five or 10 degrees. We should have brought a trailer just to make it spicy. Yeah, let's do that next time. have like 300 sunny days a year plus that's yeah so it's one of the best places for solar we have 17 kilowatts worth of systems that's a lot on the ground that's pretty solid right there yeah so you never have to worry about running out of power at 17 kilowatts dude, with everything running no it's two separate systems it's like a 12 and a smaller one okay 12 and a 5 